Well, you spend all that time and money to pick the right smartphone, and it all goes to waste when you drop it. Well, tonight we're talking about breaking your phone and how you can protect it. Our expert is David Anderson. He's with ProtectYourBubble.com. His company insures smartphones. So, David, what are the most common ways that we trash our cell phones? Well, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can trash the cell phone. And at ProtectYourBubble.com, we've seen that claims are much higher in the summertime through May, June, and July because we're so active. Mm -hmm. uh, for one, we're around more water. But also, we're just more active around the house in general. So uh, we've actually seen that most accidents around the home happen in the driveway. We're out in the yard. We're doing projects. We're hustling to and from the car. And we treat our, our phone like our car keys. And, so, <laughs> and they're, they're much more fragile than our car keys. So yeah. uh, we see that May, June, and July is a major month for damage claims. And so we're trying to get the word out that uh, these aren't inexpensive devices and you have to take care of them. Okay, so you mentioned we treat them like our car keys. Does that mean sure. a lot of us are just kind of throwing our phones, dropping our phones? What's, what's the number one way that we're breaking our phones? Well, the, the, obviously in the summertime, there's a lot of water damage claims, yeah. and so that's, uh, that's also that's a given. And, and if you're like me, you jump into the pool, and then you do the pocket check for the phone. Ah. And it's, by that point, <laughs> it's too late. The phone is gone. And so, so jump first, check second? No, not, check, not. Check, check first, then jump. There you go. Uh, you know, keep it tucked away in a bag when you're at the pool, because these are worth five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars mm -hmm. uh, a piece. And so people look at these phones like that, and they can sell them on eBay in a second. So okay. keep them in a safe place. And don't keep them in your pocket when you jump into the pool. <laughs> Good <laughs> advice for anyone. You know, some people are just more active in the summer. Is there a particular kind of phone or a particular phone maybe that they should look at that's a little sure. bit more rugged? Sure. Well, uh, I would say that uh, with any phone, any of the most popular phones now, get a case because these, the screens are getting bigger and bigger. Uh, and there's just no way to protect them. I mean, this, this screen is so big. Mm -hmm. uh, if it hits a rock or anything, and it's, even the smallest drop, it'll chip. But I'll also say that it's important to have insurance. Uh, if you drop it in water, it's gone, it's done. Yeah. And what we found is that it's, it, you're three times more likely, actually 70% of our claims are actually lost and stolen claims, mm -hmm. which you can't be protected against, against with a warranty. So you have to have insurance in order to protect against those things. If you have an incident happen to you, we'll have a phone to you the next day. And so we think it's really important. So uh, we, it, you know, if, if a consumer is interested, they can go to protectyourbubble.com and have a policy in two to three minutes. It's okay. very, very easy. Well, and we've also been teasing the fact that we're going to sure. break some phones. So do you want to get into it? Tell us about the phones, and then let's drop them. Okay. So <laughs> the, the two devices that we have today are the two most popular devices in the market right now. You've got the iPhone 5, and then you've got the Samsung S series. And so uh, what we found in our damage claims is actually the S series is probably the most fragile uh, between Ooh. the two. So, Amy, I'm going to let you drop this one. And All right. Stand up and, and, so and I'm responsible test. for breaking the fragile one. There yeah, you so go. <laughs> it may take a couple tries, but we'll, we'll give it a try. Uh, okay. So go ahead and, and give it a drop okay. on, our, on our fake driveway. All right. So you said hold it about eye level and then just drop it out of my driveway. That's it. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. Wow. Shattered it. That, uh, no mistaking that that phone Yeah, that's is broken. <laughs> that's not going to be usable, is it? So, uh, wow. So this is, this is the more uh, gentle or tender of the two. So let's okay. see if uh, the iPhone has the same result. Okay. Here we go, iPhone. Ooh, that sounded pretty crunchy. Oh, wow, that looks pretty bad, too. That's really all it takes. Yeah. It's just that simple. And uh, whether you leave it on top of your car, you're jostling for your keys, and you drop it on the concrete, your phone is toast just like that. So we think it's super important to have insurance and yeah. make sure you're protected. Not only against that, but also against water damage and loss and theft. Roughly about how much would a policy, an insurance policy cost? It's $7.99 a month for phones and it's $9.99 a month for tablets. And so it's very affordable. Literally takes 60 to 90 seconds to buy. Wow. So it's super fast. And one more plug, it's protectyourbubble.com. That's correct, protectyourbubble.com. So come check us out. All right, thanks right. so much. And we've got more prime news at 7 coming up. I'm going to drop the phone one more time. I just got to do it one more time. <laughs> All right. Ooh, thank you, David, so much for being here. Thank you. <laughs>